हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल मैथ विथ मी इफ यू लाइक माई चैनल प्लीज डू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर माई वीडियोज इट मोटिवेट्स मी टू क्रिएट मोर ऑफ इट टूडे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कार्टेशन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम एंड द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ एनी शेप्स अक्रॉस द गिवन एक्सेस कार्टेशन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम इट प्लेज अ फंडामेंटल रोल in the development of calculus trigonometry analytical geometry and the applied science let us go with the one dimensional cartesian coordinate system it is basically a number line with positive in this session we'll deal with two dimensional cartesian coordinate system it is also called as rectangular coordinate system or orthogonal coordinate system each point in the system will be represented by the ordinal pair or ordered pair it is divided into four quadrants first quadrant second third and fourth uh, as i said each point can be represented by x and y the sign will be replicated here positive x axis and positive y axis negative x axis always x first and y second positive y here both are negative because x axis is negative y axis is negative here x axis is positive and y axis is negative so here are some basic uh, facts on cartesian coordinate system when x is equal to 0 the line will be y axis the values of x on y axis will be 0 when we have y is equal to 0 the line will be x axis the values of uh, y will be 0 for uh, the points on x axis when x is equal to minus 2 y is equal to 0 the y axis will shift move to um, move from 0 to minus 2 of x axis when y is equal to positive 2 and x is equal to 0 the uh, the x axis will shift to Uh, from 0 to plus 2 of y axis when y is equal to x we'll have the positive slope if you find uh, want to find the reflection of point p across x axis then uh, what is the distance between um, the x axis and the point p is 1 2 3 3 units 1 2 3 3 this will be the reflection across x axis If you want to reflect across y-axis, then you count like this: one, two, three. Okay, two, three. If you want to reflect across x-axis for this point Q, one, two, three, four, five. Five is the distance. Count downwards: one, two, three, four, five. This will be Q prime. You want to reflect across y-axis. One, two, three. From y of y axis, one, two, three. This cube, prime, double prime. Suppose if you want to find out reflection of point P across x is equal to zero, then the line will be y axis. Then I should again mark the y axis point one, two, three, one, two, three. Will be P P prime for the second one, and this will be Q prime. If for y is equal to, for x is equal to zero, if suppose if the given equation will be across y is equal to zero, then the baseline will be x-axis. Then you must come down again. One, two, three. This this point this is the um, reflection across y is equal to zero that is x axis and this point q prime then the reflection of q across y is equal to zero. Let us take up the first example. Reflection of point P across x is equal to minus two. Mark the point P. Uh, p is given as three comma two. Then uh, draw the line which is parallel to y axis 
at x is equal to minus 2 consider this as a new y axis then find the number of points number of units from y to p 1 2 3 4 5 move 5 points 5 units away from p uh, from y 1 2 3 4 5 mark this as p prime and that is the reflection of point p I have followed the same procedure as exactly number one but here the, the reflection is across y is equal to 3 if you want to find the reflection of any shapes across x-axis then follow these procedures find the uh, because it is across x-axis take x-axis as the base baseline and so one two uh, for uh, for the point A, it is A prime is the ref uh, reflection. For point B, B prime, C, C prime, D, and D prime, respectively. This shows the reflection across the y-axis for the same polygon. Here is the representation of this shape across y is equal to. This is the new x-axis and the reflection is shown as the figure. Suppose given a positive slope and the line x is equal to y as the uh, axis line then how can you reflect this figure? Here we have to know the ordinal pair. I am going to write the ordinal, ordinal pair now. These are the ordinal pairs for the respective points then interchange x and y here so 1 comma 3 they change to 3 comma 1 5 comma 7 is changed to 7 comma 5 and 1 comma 7 is changed to 7 comma 1 mark those points 3 comma 1 3 comma 1 this is the point okay. 5 comma 7 is 7 comma 5 7 and 5 and 1 comma 7 7 comma 1 7 and 5 This is the reflection for this figure at x is equal to y. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please do subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.